Hi, in this session I'm going to be covering how to create a speedometer in Excel 2010. I had a previous video on how to create a speedometer, but that was in 2007. And creating the speedometer in 2010 involved an extra step, so I'm going to go ahead and cover that. And this is an example of the speedometer and just a little background on the numbers uh, for this. Basically, our, the red portion of this this speedometer, the yellow portion, the green portions are accordingly uh, 15 percent and when you think about it 45 percent and 40 percent and or or it's a value of 40, 45, and 15 respectively and this value of 100 is this invisible part this is a donut chart, it's this invisible part that's not being shown here. If I hover over it you can see that the value 149 shows up and the value here 50 percent is, is really the, it's a it's a pie chart and there's an invisible part that goes up to 50% here so it's a 50% 50 I guess a, a value of 50 arc here and the pointer is just that one that value of one for the 149 is the remainder of this pie you can if I hover over here you can see the 149 so let's go ahead and see how we create this let me go ahead and delete this and we'll start anew so first we're gonna select these values for our donut and we're gonna go ahead and insert the donut chart right here let me bring it down and the first thing we want to do is select the donut chart you see now it's selected it's got all the uh, markers there right click go to format data series and then we want to rotate the chart so it's so we have this portion um, horizontal so that's going to be at 270 uh, <clears throat> degrees and I'll go ahead and click fill so it will move me on because I want to re remove the fill for that blue portion. I want to make that invisible. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Left click here and do the fill with no fill. So now you see that that's disappeared. Now we've our red fill is automatically uh, set for us here already. So we have a red fill which is a value of 15. Our yellow fill, let's go ahead and select that and create and s make that yellow. And let's make this the green fill because that is the 40, the value 40 there. So let's make that solid green. All right, I'll go ahead and close this. Now we have the first half of our speedometer chart, the donut chart. What we want to do is overlay a pie chart over that with these values. So what I'm going to do is go to select data and add another series. By default, it's going to add uh, the similar, the same series that you had. But that's okay, we're going to change that later on. We just want to go ahead and choose the series values. So I select that. I'm just going to select these three values. Whoops, click OK. We don't want that one there. Let's go ahead and delete that. Click OK. <clears throat> click OK. And now we have our other donut chart. What we want to do is make this into a pie chart. So we select that and go under Change Chart Type and go to pie and we just want the regular pie chart here click OK and once we have that pie chart we're gonna click it you can see that it's being selected we have we've hover over it we've got our value of 100 this one's the value of uh, let's see I think we're on the I think we're on the donut so it's probably behind the donut but what we can do anyways is we'll select it whoops now we've got the donut Select in the interior, now we've got the pie chart. And right click that, go to Format Data Series. And what we want to do, this is the one difference here between 2007 and 2010, is we want to put that pie chart on a secondary axis. What that's going to enable us to do is be able to select that sliver there and adjust the fill. So with this, with this larger fill selected, we can see that we're, it, we're hovering over and we're selecting it. So you see the 149. We're going to change that fill and make it, actually no, we need to rotate this first. So we're going to rotate that to 270 also. Just like the donut, we're going to rotate that and then we're going to click fill and now we see that it's level, it's horizontal here. So what we want to do is change that fill to no fill. And this blue fill, which is the 50, if we hover over it we'll see it's the 50. We want to make that invisible too and give it a, let me click on here and give it a no fill. And then our sliver here, this one, this value of one here, you can see hover over it. I'm going to click on that. 
and give it a fill of a black color. Okay, go ahead and close and now you see we have our little needle. What we want to do also do is get that value there so whenever we change it, it will change accordingly. So what I want to do is insert a text box. Let me go and insert a text box here. You can just make it a little big now for for now. And it's blinking here, but we can just go into the formula bar and type equal and we want to have that value show up. We want to reference it to the cell because anytime we change that value, we don't want to go and change again. We don't have, we want to have automatically do it. So it's going to set be pointing to E2. I'm going to press enter. So this is a little bit large, 11 point. I'm going to Let's see, I think I can click, yeah, it's a solid line here, box around it, so I can go ahead and reduce the font size, maybe get the 10, and also format, have it centered there, and now I can make it a little bit smaller, I think, well, whoops, too small, alright, so it's 50% here, if I wanted to change it to maybe 12%, the needle will move down, and this adjust to that value and I can just move it down there. And you've noticed also that this value changed too. And what it is, is it's a formula. So we have 200 minus the sum of these two values. And that 200 is that larger pi. And what it does is when you adjust this, it adjusts the rotation. So we don't need this legend. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's move this a little bit closer. So there you go. Whoops. That's how you create a speedometer chart in Excel 2010. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.